Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to work with height maps in Unity 3D. Now, a height map is essentially a black and white image which determines uh, which parts of a terrain will be high and which will be low. Now, I've done a search here on Google for height maps and I've downloaded one into Photoshop so we can have a look at it. Here it is. So, any bits in this image that are white will be high peaks and any that are black will be sort of the lowest part of your terrain. Now you need to save it as a .raw file which you can do in Photoshop. Uh, save as and if we just drop this down we can have a look for .raw. Okay now I just want to show you something that will happen if I resize this. So uh, let's change the size of this image to 700 pixels by 700 and then save as a raw file now if we go into Unity we can add a terrain and the terrain starts out flat as you can see there to apply the height map terrain import height map and we select the one that we've just downloaded from the internet and open that now we're working in Windows so we'll just change the byte order to Windows and leave the other settings as they are and import it. Now you might need to zoom out a bit to see what the results are and move around. Now it's a little hard to see what's going on without a light so we will add a light and just lift that up and rotate it around Okay, so now what you can see is the height map has been applied but there's all this sort of extra area around the edge. Now if you have a look at the resolution of the height map uh, you can see that it's set to 1024. That's what it wants for the size of your texture file. So we need to go back into Photoshop and change that image size to 1024 by 1024. Then save it again as a raw file. Go back into Unity. Select the terrain and import the height map again and now you'll notice that it's a lot uh, nicer it, so the texture fits perfectly now you can see that this dip in the terrain here if we go back into Photoshop will be this big area here now you can create these files yourself just by using um, paintbrush tools or spray can tools uh, or you can generate it if you can write a program that generates some kind of a fractal landscape uh, and then bring that in you'll have some unique landscapes. Now this one looks a little bit well looks a bit rough and jagged which might be what you're after. What you can do is in this set resolution is to change the height, the maximum height that's being used. So that's the height that any white values are set to. So if we put that to 200, and now you can see it's much flatter, which might be exactly what you're after. If we zoom in here and look around. Okay, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to put some uh, texture, some colour on it.